Can you imagine your life without a mobile phone? Okay, we get it. It's an absolute no. Smartphones have become a necessity. And so has become a powerful battery to keep us and phone all charged up. But what keeps the battery up and running? How is it made? Digging into the phone to find this out is going to be damn interesting. Most mobile devices use lithium ion batteries. Solid electrolytes are used in this where the ions move from the negative electrode to the positive electrode during discharge and back when charging. Lithium ion cells can be recharged multiple times and are classified as secondary cells. The dry cell in your wall clock or your toys which die after long use are primary cells. Batteries using lead storage or nickel cadmium also run out of power after a long use but can be recharged again. But the chemistry behind each of these is not as simple as it looks on the surface. To discover more, log on to mbike.com and learn the electrochemistry behind it. When the cylinder and the graphite rod are connected by a conducting wire, zinc acts as an anode and graphite rod which is in contact with MnO2 acts as a cathode. So, what kind of battery does your watch have? If it's not a smart watch, then it probably has a button cell. Same like the one used in calculators. They are durable and long-lasting. With innovations in technology and increasing use of devices, different kinds of batteries are here to stay. Keep observing the devices around you and keep surprising your friends by telling them the battery they are using. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.